Oh, hey guys, I didn't see you there. I was just having a little coffee break before we get to filming. I'm PJ from 3D Printing Canada, and today we're gonna teach you about micro Swiss nozzles. Let's give an overview on micro Swiss. So we'll keep this short and sweet for you guys. Micro Swiss is a company that's based out of the USA. They work with precision CNC machines to make all the awesome nozzles, direct drives, and hot end kits we use today. All right, first nozzle I'm gonna talk about is the Volcano nozzle. So the Volcano nozzle is something that's used in a Volcano heater block. This is for high flow, so it's gonna give you a lot more flow for your 3D prints, which will in turn speed up your prints as well. You can print a lot quicker with one. We'll move on to something like, say, an Ultimaker nozzle. Now, this is actually a three mil nozzle. They still make three mil nozzles, so for that um, 2.8 filament, you'll be able to still get nozzles for that type of machine if you carry one. Um, they even make a one-off for the CR-10S Pro V2 and CR Max, okay? So we have that as well. And moving on to their regular brass-plated wear-resistant nozzle. So they make these for different companies, guys. You can get these for basically every printer. Then we'll move on, we've got their A2 steel. Now all of these are coated as well, so keep that in mind. And then we've got their M2 steel. This is high-speed steel. Moving forward, let's actually pull out my phone because I can't remember all the specs on all their nozzles. And I'll give you a little rundown of what each different type of material is and why we might be using it. When I'm reading specs off my phone, I like to make sure I'm extra comfortable on my boss's couch when he's away on vacation. So the M2 nozzles, they're superior because of their hardened steel with an HRC of 68, which is really nice. Uh, it also has nickel plating coating on them, uh, WS2 coating. This nozzle is capable of 450C without losing its hardness. Now that's really good. So for you high temperature guys, this is the nozzle to use. The plating shore hardness is 70 to 73 HRC. So then they've got their A2 steel. Let's find here. So we have the MK8, A2 right here, plated A2 steel. So A2 is another form of speed steel and it's hardened. Um, so this one has an HRC of 57 to 62. Now this has twin clad XT coating on it. So it works good for your carbon fibers, metal filled filaments, things like that, as well as the M2 does as well. Moving to the next material they use, okay? It's just their brass coated. So let me just uh, make myself a little more comfortable here for this one. So the, the, the brass plated ones, uh, excuse me, the brass nozzles with the plating on it, again, it's the twin clad XT coated uh, coating on there. Uh, also they use 360 brass. Now with the coating, it's still gonna help you with the carbon fibers and the wood filled filaments because it has that protective coating on it. So when you'd use a normal brass nozzle, you wouldn't run into uh, the carbon fiber, keeping it in good shape like you will with the Micro Swiss. And now that uh, I'm done giving you the rundown on this, since the boss is on vacation, I think it's time for me to take a little nap. In conclusion, I'm just gonna give you how I feel about these nozzles. The reason I tend to use Micro Swiss nozzles, they're superior to every other nozzle that's not made on a precision CNC machine in the US. It's just it's cut and dry guys. Um, nozzles that are rushed out in a factory in China are never gonna compare to a precision group of CNC machines. These guys have really, really good high precision machines. That's why their tooling always comes out really nice. I trust the guys at Micro Swiss. I've never ever not been able to get in contact with them. I've rarely ever had a defected problem. I can count on one hand how many times I have. Now, with that being said, your M2 speed steel is going to be best for all you guys doing high temperature applications, carbon fibers, wood fill, steel filled, stainless steel filled, all that kind of stuff. You're going to want to use your M2. Now they make them for a variety of different printers. So we got that covered guys. If you're just a guy printing PLA and PETG with no fills all the time, 
You can just go ahead and go for the brass plated wear resistant because yes, it is a little bit cheaper and it's gonna cover all those materials and last a lot longer than brass. And then for guys who maybe just wanna use like carbon fiber materials with dust and maybe some wood filaments, your A2 hardened steel is gonna be just fine as well. With that being said, guys, I can't stress how much I love Micro Swiss compared to all the other nozzles on the market, just due to the fact their quality control is, is just amazing, guys. With that being said, I hope you guys liked this video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, tell your friends about us. Come on down to the shop and check us out. Hope to see you in the next video.